Big Disney news just announced that Disney's Genie Plus is being rebranded and changed for the better. Let's dive into what those changes mean. As your background info, Disney's Genie Plus replaced the old FastPass Plus system at Walt Disney World after the pandemic. Gone was the term FastPass and the new word was Lightning Lane. It meant the same thing, same skip the line type queue. The biggest change of course is that Disney's Genie Plus was a paid system. But not only that, Genie Plus came with a whole different booking process and it wasn't super popular. Specifically, Genie Plus did not allow you to book in advance. Instead, at 7 a.m., you would have to race online and fight for that first attraction. Booking after that was two hours after park opened or whenever you scanned for that first attraction. It got so complicated that people actually needed a flow chart just to understand when to book. Companies admitted applications to help you book more easily. Yes, the paid option wasn't super popular, but the system itself was also problematic. And Disney seems to have recognized this because let's dive into these new changes. The biggest change with this is that the word Genie Plus is gone. Lightning Lane is here to stay and this system is now called Walt Disney World Lightning Lane. Very straightforward, very easy. There are two types of Lightning Lanes. There's multi-pass and single pass. Love the new name. So let's dive into multi-pass first. Now multi-pass is basically the old Genie Plus service that you're paying to get a big group of attractions, likely the same list of attractions as before. So at Magic Kingdom, that was Haunted Mansion, Small World. Big Thunder Mountain, Buzz Lightyear, those types of attractions all fall under the multi-pass option, but the booking is very different. So the first thing to know is that you can purchase for one theme park per day, and I'll get more into that in a minute. Next, you can choose up to three experiences to book in advance. This is a huge change and really brings us back to those old FastPass Plus days. So you're booking those three experiences in advance. If you're staying on site, you can book in advance seven days out. If you're staying off-site, you can book in advance three days out after you purchase. Then after you use that first selection in the park, you can make additional selections. So once you scan in, you'll be able to book more. Now, if you remember with the old FastPass Plus system, there was a tier system where different rides were ranked in different categories. You could only book one ride from certain tiers or two rides from other tiers. That is coming back. Yes, it's a bit of a headache, but the reason is if you open up Slinky Dog Dash, Tower of Terror, and Smuggler's Run, those are gonna be completely gone, leaving only like the lower tier attractions. So it does make sense, although it is again, a slight annoyance. The only park that will not have tiers is Animal Kingdom. As I'm making this, I will look into finding an update on those tiers and exactly what rides go into each. And if it is, I will put it right here. If it's not, I will update in the description. Now let's talk about what this means for park hopping. If you can only purchase it for one theme park per day. I'm diving in a little bit deeper, doing some research, trying to understand exactly what this means. But right now, my understanding is that those first three selections in advance can only be made for one park, Hollywood Studios. Tower of Terror, Alien Swirling Saucers, and Star Tours. You're booking all three of those. After that, I do think you will have the opportunity to use this to park hop. That is not confirmed, and I will update the description if that changes or if more news comes out about that. So in a nutshell, that is our first option, the Multipass, formerly Genie Plus, or basically the old FastPass Plus system. Moving on to our second type of lightning lane, the single pass rebranded from individual lightning lane. Can we all agree this name so much better, so much easier to understand. Really, really happy with this change. So for this, you can purchase up to two selections per day in advance for some of the most highly sought after attractions like Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind or Tron or probably Flight of Passage. You can choose from a list of available times. That's an option for both multi-pass and single pass that you get to select the time that you want. And this single pass is just that, a single pass for one ride. It does not cover multiple attractions. So going through, we have our multi-pass and we have our single pass. Let's talk about pricing, which has not been announced, but because this is more of a rebrand and not an entirely new system, we can assume that these will be very similarly priced to what Genie Plus and individual Lightning Lanes were priced before. So looking at a multi-pass for a busy day at Magic Kingdom, you might be looking at about $27 to pay for that. For Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, that might cost you $15 per person. They have not announced caps on the multi-pass or the single pass, but we can imagine these prices will stay very similar. Now, why is Disney doing this? Well, they say they're updating it to make it easier to plan ahead. Disney basically had a lot of conversations in focus groups. Guests were not super happy with the system. Yes, the paid piece, that is part of it. People were not happy with the paid system, but more so people did not like how often they had to sit there on their phone trying to desperately get something, trying to get desperately book a Genie Plus Lightning Lane and an individual Lightning Lane and a virtual queue. It was just all very confusing. So here's what they list that make it easier to plan ahead. 
Number one is gonna be new, simpler names, and I am totally on board with these. Disney's Lightning Lane, that's great. Multi-pass and single pass is just so straightforward. I think the only confusion they're gonna face is the fact that they've been now selling us and educating us on Genie Plus for a couple of years. Number two is that you can purchase the single pass and the multi-pass in one transaction. If you haven't purchased these before, you maybe don't realize just how annoying it was to have to drill in and do this separately. You basically have to get online early for Genie Plus, book that and then you'd have to get online right at seven to book your individual lightning lane it was just very chaotic they're making that easier streamlining it you can select your experiences before purchase and not only is this convenient but something really really great about it is that if they don't have the experiences you want you don't have to purchase it Offsite guests this really applies to you again we don't know how much inventory disney will hold for off-site guests but if they don't have those attractions you want to do you don't have to pay for it and find out that there's nothing there and the last part is you can confirm or modify times to fit your day. They're definitely going to have some sort of suggestion system, maybe the old Disney Genie system, which may or may not be remaining. Does anyone really use that? But the goal of these changes is just to make it easier for you and your family or your party to book lightning lanes, to understand what to do, and to not be on your phone constantly in the park. Now, what else do you need to know? This goes in effect July 24th for Walt Disney World. You can book seven days out, so you can book on July 17th. You can book for the full 14 days of your trip. So if you're staying on site and you have a 14 day reservation on day one, you can book all of those lightning lanes. That is identical to how the FastPass Plus system worked. And another, again, really great change that you can book these in advance for the whole length of your trip. What time can you book these at? 7 a.m. These are the changes. Walt Disney World Lightning Lane. We have multi-pass, we have single pass. This is easier for guests to understand. It's easier for guests to use. You're not gonna be on your phone as much, but you will still be paying for something that used to be free. Goodbye, Disney Genie Plus. You had a good run. Not really.